Hello, and welcome to another Greylog instructional video. In this video, we're going to go over the Greylog marketplace, how to get to it, what kind of content is in the marketplace, and the benefits of using the marketplace. I'm going to start off here by being inside of the Greylog console. You can see here I'm on the content packs page, which is found through the system menu in content packs. Content packs, like you guys probably already know, is ways to distribute data. It could be different parsers, it could be different alerts, reports, etc. can all be consolidated into a content pack, which then we could be delivered through the marketplace. Once you download those content packs, you do have that ability to do upload. But if you want to find things that you just don't have yet, you can click on this link up here to the Greylog Marketplace, or you can go to marketplace.greylog.org, and it will take you to the same page. Now up front here, on the first, I'd like to talk about each one of these different add-on types that we have. The first one I want to talk about is going to be the plugin module. So the plugin is going to be code that extends Greylog to something that it doesn't currently support out of the box. And if we click on one of these, you can see here we'd have different things like an alert wizard, or maybe you're, you're integrating to AWS, or some basic aggregation counter. So plugins, again, extend the functionality of Greylog. Now the content pack is what we came from in the console itself. This one's going to be the different parsing rules, the different inputs and streams and extractors that might be there, as well as dashboards. And this would be something that you want to look for if you had maybe a, a, a Cisco device that you don't have support for in Active Directory, as you can see here. You can bring a lot of these in, download the content pack, and then all the port, parsing and the reporting will work out of the box. The other one's a Gelf library. And this one here, it's really for programming and different ways that you can use to get your data in your program out to Greylog itself. We do put it in the GELF format, so you can see through here there's different types of programs, you know, C++ library, that will help output those logs in a readable format by Greylog. And then our last one here are other solutions. It's just any other kind of content or guide you know, that, that might help integrate Greylog with some other device that you have. Maybe you want to figure out how to configure a specific device um, to support Greylog out of the box. That's what this format in this section would be for. Again, any one of these, if you click on it, you can drill in. You know, we do have full integration with GitHub. So if you guys do write your own code in GitHub and you want to publish these up, you can then publish them to our channel as well. They will then show up in the marketplace. Now, once you download any one of these, through the, through the different field, like if I come back into a content pack, and maybe you really like uh, this Active Directory Federation, you can come in here and say you want to download that one. Once you download that, usually towards the bottom here, there's going to be some instructions that kind of say what's needed, if there's any requirements that are needed, or if there's anything you have to do on your side. In this case, it's talking about the NX log configuration. But once you download that file, it'll come in a JSON format. You come back into this content pack section here in your gray log instance, say upload, and then you pick that JSON file. And once you upload it, it will then show up in your list. You'll notice here again that there's a couple different methods. There's the ones that are installed or uploaded to the system, and then there's the ones that have been installed. So when it's green, that means it's active and it's working. If it hasn't been fully installed, it's just there. You'll see it without the installed tag. And if you open any one of these up, you can see that there is a version history as we go. You'll see any constraints, something that might require, in this case it just requires Greylog. And then down below, what are you going to get inside of that content pack? You know, different types of lookup tables, pipeline rules, uh, a stream, and then some dashboards. So hopefully that explained a little bit about the marketplace, the different features you can get, and the different outputs up, up front here of well, what the difference is between a plugin, a content pack, and these different like GELF libraries. Thanks for watching the video and happy logging.